All right, guys, it's Friday, March the 6th, and we got a firewood delivery right here. So it is a half a face cord we're delivering. Well, we're not delivering, they're picking up, but we're delivering it to my front yard because this is my backyard. So we're gonna take half of this stack in the wheelbarrow and we're gonna wheelbarrow it up to my front yard. This will probably be the first part of the uh, tree service wood video, so I'll zoom this up really fast. So, here we go. Right, guys that's a half a face cord i'm gonna sell this for 55 dollars and a full or a full face cord is 100 dollars Alright guys, so here I'm just cleaning up this little pine tree. I promise this is the last little chore I do before I get that tree service wood, because I know you guys want to see that. So, speeding this up super fast. Uh, I got it in piles there, so I'm just going to plan on burning that later. And here I'm I'm raking everything up, because that's where I'm planning on putting the, the tree service wood back in that corner there. So, here I am. I'm going to explain some stuff to you. All right, guys, I got that pine tree cleaned up got it in just little piles here, and I raked up this little back area here, too. This is where I'm going to put my tree service wood once I start getting a constant supply of that stuff. The ground is a little uneven, so I don't know if I'm going to like level it out with a shovel or just use a bigger runner on one side than the other, if you know what I mean by that. But um, the way I used the pine logs, I'm not going to burn them. I'm planning on using them for something else, and I'm going to show you. It's right over here. So when I start getting logs from the tree service, I'm basically my plan is to get them out of the front yard as fast as I can. So I'm going to cut them into lengths where I can wheelbarrow them down here. And I'm gonna lay them right, line them up right on here. So these logs are to make sure they're not touching the ground and getting all wet and muddy and gross. So that's my plan for that. And this is my little work spot here. I got just a big uh, fence post down and a four by eight of plywood. And that's where I cut up everything so my the tip of my saw doesn't hit the dirt. Sorry if it's windy, guys. All right, so that's it for the beginning of this video. So now you guys can start looking at the tree service wood, the very fun meat and potatoes of the video. So here it is. There he is. What's he got here now?
What is that? Yep. So I, I looked, I think this is white oak. That one, that one's cherry. Ooh, beautiful cherry. Ooh, yes. That's walnut. Yeah, probably walnut. Or oak. No, that's that's white oak. Yes. Ooh, he's got a long piece on there. That is a nice piece of oak. Nice. Never had white oak before, so this will be interesting. Mostly oak so far. This is a nice load. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, this is nice stuff. That's white oak as well. Oh my goodness. All right, tree guy left. Looks like we got mainly white oak. So you can see here, there's a nice cherry in there. Cherry here, but mostly this nice looking white oak. Look at that one in there. Ooh, that's big hunk of white oak. And there's, this is one basswood here on the top, but that's like the only one. Ooh. Ooh. White oak. Oh, this stuff is nice. Oh, and this is cherry. All right. Let's get cutting.
All right, our first battery life got us this pile and these. So what I'm thinking on these white oaks is the X is gonna bounce right off it before I even try, but we'll see how splittable it is. I don't have a good feeling about it, but we'll give her a try here and see how it goes. Ooh, it's going already. Oh, I did not think that was gonna happen. Oh, thank God. Oh. Mmm, smells good. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I thought this was going to be not able to split, but it's splitting well, all right. I got to be splitting these into bigger pieces because people that are buying oak are gonna probably be burning for a indoor furnace. I'm gonna split them a bit bigger than this now. Start splitting them well, maybe a little smaller than this one. We'll see. I think some of you out there will be able to confirm that this is white oak. Pretty darn sure. This one's got a big knot off the side, so we'll see how this one splits. Already got a crack going down. I think like sizes like this for wood wood boilers. I, well, I think wood boilers go a lot bigger than this, but for like heating inside, I think this is. Let me know in the comments if you know how big people like it for burning for heat. But for now, I'm gonna split them like this. That be, that being that one being one of the bigger pieces that will go uh, it, in there once in a while I'll have some small ones oh, it feels nice to be splitting wood again oh, and this splits so nice too All right, that was two of those rounds. Still one more right there. Guys, what do you say about the sizes of these pieces for burning wood? I think I'll start with these big ones, but if you guys say otherwise, and I'll, I'll do some research too on it, but I know they want them a little bit bigger. So let's go and stack these. Let's 
see how it handles a knot. Look at that. See how it goes. By the way, this is the Fiskers splitting axe. Uh, we're just gonna go right straight down the middle. Oh yeah, it's already cracked. Easy. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Could not have asked for a better wood. All right guys, I got two more, and I somehow managed to pick this one up and put it in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> the things I do for firewood. Okay, let's get these two easily split up. You saw them, and now they are there. Well, I think that's gonna wrap this one up. Um, the battery is dead, and we got one full battery charge. The cherry over there, that log, this load, and over here what we have stacked already, the white oak. Got lots to go, gotta start on it. See you guys in the next one.